There was a woman who had a cat and way too much time free. There was nothing much to do and nothing on TV. So they made their own TV show with things cats like to see. Like squirrels, fish, and mice, and scrumptious little chickadees. They broadcast from their living room, so if you want to see the kinds of things cats like to watch, it's time for Meow TV. It's time for Meow TV, starring Annabelle and Stinky. The show for cats, by cats, and the people they tolerate. Brought to you by Meow Mix. Welcome back to another episode of Meow TV. I'm Annabelle, and this is my cat, Stinky. And Meow TV is the show by cats, for cats, and for the humans they tolerate, like me. So let's get started today. I promised my vet, Dr. Bill, that I would send a special birthday shout out to Flipper, the gaseous bald and calico that lives under the desk at his office who just turned 16. Happy birthday, Flipper. Sebastian Turner, a Persian mix from Tucson, Arizona, turns nine years old today. When Sebastian's not curled up in the sunshine by the sliding glass door, he enjoys watching ESPN and collecting Chinese restaurant menus. Wait a second, is Sugar Pie Kaufman of Hibbings, Minnesota claiming to be 12 years old today? We don't believe it. This tiger mix and mother of 17 doesn't look a day over 10. Happy birthday, Sugar Pie. Is your cat having a birthday? Send in a picture or email us. And now, a public service announcement from Meow TV. Let's get spayed. Let's keep those tomcats away. You've got better things to do than have six kittens who feed off you. You know that life is sweet when you're not in heat. So don't be afraid. Let's get spayed. Now, during what we entertainment personalities call downtime between projects, Stinky and I decided to collaborate. We realized that so much of our film and television oeuvre is almost exclusively about people. And you know when something clicks right here? So we looked at each other and almost at the exact same time said, entertainment for cats. Well, it was a big week for Stinky and me. Stinky coughed up a hairball the size of a bowling ball, and I got evicted. So Stinky and I have been getting into yoga. Mm. The side leg lean strengthens and tones the body and increases flexibility in the paws. Don't forget to breathe. The pelvic bend opens up the hips and aligns the spine and the all-important tailbone. Keep focused on breathing. The Shavasana twist improves circulation and helps dislodge any loose hairballs. Remember to breathe. The potted palm pose massages the central nervous system, restores the spirit to optimal balance. And please, don't make us remind you to breathe. Mm. We've asked our viewers to send in tapes of you and special moments with your cats, and what a tremendous response we had. Of the two tapes we got, we selected this one. You've probably heard the expression, can't teach an old dog new tricks. Well, for cat owners, the real challenge is teaching these fiercely independent creatures to do anything, but not according to amateur cat trainer Faye Morell. Everybody say that cats can't be trained, and I just want to let you know that is not true because they, are, they really can. Setting out to prove her point, Faye began the painstaking process of teaching her cat Tessa how to eat with a spoon. 
An impressive feat to be sure, especially when you consider that a cat doesn't even have the opposable thumbs necessary for grasping things. The secret weapon? A tiny Velcro strap fastened to Tessa's little paw. And I said, that's real nice, it's real soft, and it won't hurt. And I could just slip the spoon in it, and I practiced with it for a while, and she began to do it. It took Tessa over nine months to learn to use her makeshift kitty utensil. But now it's become second nature to her, like landing on her feet when she falls, or darting in and out of rooms for no apparent reason. In fact, Tess has become so adept, she's even worked her way up to chopsticks. She would just go right ahead, eating with the chopsticks as if she was eating with a spoon. And she also can eat by candlelight. A cat who can feed herself. Not bad if he asks Stinky and me. Now, if she could just figure out how to use the can opener. <laughs> can your cat do something cool? Send us a videotape. And now for a cat haiku. Litter box is full. One of us doesn't have hands. Get what I'm saying? Okay, Stinky, you take a rest while uh, Mommy has a little more catnip. Meow Mix comes in two varieties, original and seafood middles, with crunchy centers bursting with seafood flavor. Great. Now that song's going to be stuck in my head all day. Meow Mix. Tastes so good, cats ask for it by name. Here's a little-known feline factoid. When a cat drinks, it uses the underside of its tongue, which has tiny barbs on it, and it absorbs the liquid backwards. Is your cat depressed? There's hope. If you think sitcom stars and rock musicians are the only ones being admitted to rehab, think again. These cats are not being brought to any ordinary kennel or spa. They're being admitted to a special catnip rehab facility known as the Kitty Ford Center. Catnip abuse is a very serious problem for some cats. Here at the Kitty Ford Center, we try to provide a safe haven for their recovery. We clean them up and try to get them feeling better about themselves so that they can make a fresh start. Here for six weeks, with the help of dedicated professionals and caseworkers, these cats will tackle their catnip abuse problems through rigorous exercise, fun and recreation, intense one-on-one -on -one counseling, and a little quiet time to sit with their thoughts and reflect on their recovery. I think it's important to point out that these are not bad cats, just cats who have made a mistake and want to turn their nine lives around. And we're happy to provide a safe, private alternative to incarceration. Thanks, Kitty. Pat, do you like to steal? Absolutely, Anne. Then you're going to love this next item. This hanging cat toy is an absolute steal at only $9.99. Wow, $9.99. You have to be kidding. I'm not kidding, Pat. This orange and yellow beauty is only available for a very short amount of time. It's colorful, it's delightful, and it's water resistant for up to 100 meters. Wow, that's underwater, people. This is a serious cat lover's toy, right. all right? Unlike the similar hanging cat toys that sell for thousands of dollars in Japan. That's the yen, Pat. Exactly. Let's take a look at this exquisite specimen. It has bells on all four of its feet. <laughs> That's right, Pat. Why would you buy a hanging cat toy out of the back of a van when we can cut out that middleman and pass the savings on to you? No middleman. Middle Cats, use those paws. Use them. You've seen your owners do it. You know how to dial a phone. And if you don't, then stand by the TV and kind of paw at it while you whine and moan until they get the idea. And when I'm talking right now, you know what, all of a sudden, I feel really good. So I'll tell you what, if your owners call within the next 10 minutes, I'll throw in a tin foil ball absolutely <gasps> free of charge. And you have to be kidding. I'm not kidding, Pat. You have to be kidding. Pat, I have no sense of humor. Here's a little neat variation that I've come up with. I add a scoop of tuna to the middle, like this, and then I scrunch it up in a ball and voila, done. <laughs> Stinky just loves these things. Yeah, she can't get enough of that. <laughs> Next week, 
I'm going to teach you how to make your own scratching post. All you need is a hot glue gun and a square of carpet about as big as the one I cut out of Mrs. C's guest room. Now, we wanted to show you an uplifting tale by cats for cats and the people they tolerate, like me, but we couldn't find any. So I made this. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you, but you need a root canal, my friend. Hey, Aslan. Nice fro. You use soul glow on that? <laughs> oh, my God. It's so hot. So hot. Like, Africa hot. What kind of statement is that? Polka dots? I mean, really. That's so 80s. I mean, it's like very kajagoogoo. Very embarrassing. Yeah. Hey, Ted. What? What do you call a cat that can't be trusted? What? A cheetah. That's really painful. Yeah. Hey, Ted. What? You know what I told you about the cheetah? Yeah. I was lying. Oh, God. Hey, kitties, get ready for the hottest season of Wild on Sea, guaranteed to have your fur flying. First up, we scamper on down to Rio de Janeiro for Carnival. If you're feeling frisky and need a little excitement, then Carnival is the cat's pajamas. Next stop, South Beach, where the beautiful cats come to purr and play. Meow! If the wildlife gets your tail wagging, then South Beach is just what the veterinarian ordered. So climb on board the sea train and be prepared to party all season long on Wild on Sea. Okay, this is take 63. He's killing me. Yeah. Uh, we're going to wrap for today. Uh, thank you. Introducing Meow Mix Hairball Control Formula. With great taste and natural ingredients, effectively controlling hairballs is as easy as feeding your cat. Meow, 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 Mix. Tastes so good, cats ask for it by name. Calling all cat and pop music lovers, wow. Cat Tell Music presents Feel the Heat, featuring the hottest collection of cat love songs ever. 30 tabby-tastic tunes that are sure to have you and your kitty cat are walling the night away. Hey, who could ever forget this heart-tugging hit? And what about this unforgettable kitty classic? Wow, that's my cat's personal fave. These timeless love songs will provide hours of enjoyment for you and your cat as you both while away the hours staring sadly out the window. Feel the Heat is not sold in stores. Plus, if you order now, we'll send you the best of cat aoke sing-alongs. Come on, you know the words. Order now and receive free pair of mini tries kitty headphones. No cats were harmed in the making of this commercial. Hollywood hopefuls dream of fame, fortune, and a Malibu dream home. Of course, some of us just dream about having a home. <laughs> While this next cat may not exactly be living large, he is living with a large man. The waves are up, the sun is out, a perfect day for a couple of surf dudes to hit the beach. Wait, that's no dude, that's a cat. Meet Toby, aqua kitty extraordinaire, and his owner, Mitch Townsend. The number one place for this cool cat to get the thrill of his nine lives? Shredding the waves and hanging tent with the big boys. Yes, Toby! And do the Bettys dig him? Uh, you betcha. Careful, girls. His heart belongs to the sea. Oh, it's so cute. When people see Toby in the water, they, uh, two things hit their mind. You got the people that say, I can't believe it, he swims in the water. It's amazing. And you get the ones that think it, oh, it's so cruel because, like, he's in the water. But it's not. He loves it. When you're two wild and crazy guys like Mitch and Toby, one extreme sport isn't enough. These boys also like to tear it up on jet skis. He likes speed. He's used to doing, like, 40, 50 miles an hour uh, uh, on motorcycle and jet skis. And when they want to dry off in a hurry, they hop on their Harleys and take to the open road. 
Ladies, he even looks good on a hog. Can you stand it? Oh, no. This is neat, isn't it? When we asked Mitch if it was rough riding shotgun with such a dreamboat, he happily told us, You ever want to find a girl? Get a cat. Because we devote an entire half an hour of television to cats here on Meow TV, people may think I'm somehow out of touch and not entirely in tune with reality. Well, that may be true, but that doesn't mean we're not civic-minded, and we now move on to the public affairs portion of our show. With me is political candidate Bob Hamilton. Welcome, Bob. It's a pleasure to be here on the program with you, Annabelle. Thank you. Bob, you have found that to reach out to voters, you must first reach out to their pets. Is that correct? Well, that's exactly correct, Annabelle. Just like commercial advertisers reach the pocketbooks of parents by appealing to the children first, my campaign is directed to the family member whom I feel most influences family decisions, that's the family pet. Okay, let's take a look at your most recent campaign ad, Bob. All across our state, people and pets alike are uniting behind Bob Hamilton, the only candidate who's willing to fight for all pets. For four years, my opponent has supported leaving dogs and cats outside at night. He says he wants to be your best friend, but he has twice voted to ban all pets from public transportation. The Hamilton plan? Reduce obedient school class sizes and bring accountability back to animal training. Accountability. Veterinary coverage for all pets with a low monthly premium. Low monthly premium. Support community pet outreach programs aimed at reducing pet on pet crime. Outreach. Dogs and cats are tired of business as usual. I know that investing in our pets is investing in our future. Bob Hamilton, a leader for all pets. Dogs and cats, I'm your man. Paid for by the friends of Bob Hamilton. Bob, one thing that's unclear from your ad, exactly what office are you running for? Hmm. And now, a public service announcement from Meow TV. Let's get neutered. You're so much more than a reproducer. It don't mean that you failed if you don't spend your nights chasing tail. You'll learn to be calm when your equipment's gone. And you'll be cuter when you're neutered. Squirrel alert! Are you lonely, feeling isolated? It's hard to meet others with your same interests, especially if you're covered in fur. Luckily, George has me, but for all you other lonely hearts out there, here's something for you. Hello, I'm a clean, straight, well-groomed office cat looking for a dinner companion in the Wall Street area. My favorite meal is scraps of sushi, but only if it's been tossed within a few days. Yes, I'm a little finicky, but I'm worth it. Hey, looking for a little romance? Cause I'm looking for a dreamy, down-to-earth, open-minded canine who knows what he wants and isn't afraid of asking for it. Only serious alpha males need apply. No head games. Want to go out sometime? I I'd like that. Are you looking for someone special? Send in a picture. And now for a cat haiku. Stuck up in a tree? I know how this story ends. Here comes the fire truck. Well, it's getting late here at Meow TV and Stinky needs a nap, something she tends to do for about 16 to 18 hours of the day, which I'm told is normal. Of course, when I sleep that much, I'm depressed. <laughs> in any case, with any luck, we'll be back here next week. And remember, folks at home, we want to hear from you. Sit down with your kitty or write us a letter or email us. I guess that's all the time we have. I'm Annabelle Gerwich, and this is Stinky saying thanks for watching. See you next time on Meow TV. If getting your chin scratched makes you purr, if you are a ball of fur, if you eat mice, we must concur. You'll love Meow TV. If you 
you eat your giblets raw, if you wash your face with your paw, if you shed sofas with your claws, you'll love Meow TV. Let's watch Meow TV. Thank you.